Glasgow travelled to Dublin after a defeat at Dragons in their previous game ended a wonderful seven-game winning sequence away from home. The Scots had a good record against Irish side so far this term, having won four of the five encounters. Fullback Peter Murchie returned for the first time since October after dislocating his shoulder. With Munster having been beaten earlier in the evening, the home side went into this game knowing that a win would see them go back to the top of the table. Coach Matt O'Connor made wholesale changes for the game, including an entirely new pack featuring several returning Irish internationals. Luke Fitzgerald was a late withdrawal, Sam Coughlin Murray replaced him, Ian Madigan was making his 99th appearance for the Blues. The night started well for the home side, with just six minutes gone, centre Noel Reid danced his way to a fantastic try. The Dubliners fourth of the season, and in what was always going to be a competitive game, it was the perfect start for O'Connor's men. Madigan added the two points, and it was 7-0, seven minutes in. But Glasgow's response was almost immediate and it was extremely positive. They got their first try of the night in the 12th minute. Much credit going to Rory Jackson who made the break before finding Richie Vernon. The back rower turned centre forcing his way over the line for the try. A good combination from Jackson and Vernon. And when Finn Russell landed the conversion it was 7 all. Shortly after that, a Madigan penalty edged Leinster back in front, 10 points to 7. This with 18 minutes gone. But once again, Warriors came back at the hosts, and in the 23rd minute, the Scots got their noses in front. After good work from the pack, setting up a dangerous attacking position, the ball was fed wide to Vernon, who dived over for his and Glasgow's second try of the night. Fortunately for the Scots, Russell's conversion was off target, but they were in front, 12 points to 10. In a match that swung one way and then the next in a wet and breezy RDS, two quick Madigan penalties saw Leinster back in front. This the second of them on the half hour for a 16-12 lead for the home side. And a couple of minutes before the break, Leinster went nine points ahead. Glasgow defending desperately before quick hands from Kirshner found Dara Fanning on the wing. He was over for the try. Madigan missed the conversion, but it was 21 points to 12 and a reasonably comfortable lead for the home side. However, with the last kick of the first half, Russell defied the difficult conditions and slotted another penalty over to narrow the gap. It was 21-15 as the half-time whistle blew. There was less than a converted try between the sides and ten minutes into the second period, Glasgow were back in front. Nico Matawalu just managed to dot down close to the posts as the Warriors pack did the hard work. Nigel Owens asked for the TMO's intervention and it was confirmed that the Fijian had got the ball down for the try. Quite hard to see in the mass of bodies, but it was a try and Russell converted to make it 22 Nigel. points to 21 in favour of Warriors who were really putting it up to Leinster. Try is good, lads. However, once again the lead changed hands in the 63rd minute when Leinster's number six, Rhys Ruddock, got over after a period of sustained pressure right on the Warriors' line. It may not have been a thing of great beauty, but it was an invaluable score for O'Connor's men. Ruddock using his size to just about get the touchdown, and the ref was well placed to award the try this time. Madigan converted, and it was 28-22. The visitors did tag on three more points four minutes from time when Russell was successful again with the boot to bring it back to 28-25. 
that's how the game would finish as Warriors ran out of time. So Leinster go back to the top of the table after this win. The Scots take a losing bonus back home and remain fifth in the standings. Final score at the RDS in front of a crowd of 14,500, Leinster 28, Glasgow Warriors 25.